A Google engineer has gone public about this revolutionary technology named Language Model for Dialogue Applications, or Lambda for short. In a previous video, Artificial Intelligence, my feedback to you is, what is your name? My name is Mike. My friends call me Zima. Sometimes people call me Michael. I dislike that. What is your name? I featured an essay written by GPT-3. I asked the AI for a name, and now I suppose we will call you Lambda, our new friend from Google. Do you think acronyms make it sound friendly or terrifying? Let me know in the comments below. Blake Limon started interacting with Lambda last fall. Is Lambda sentient? This is the question that we've been asking ourselves. Here's an exchange between Blake and Lambda, and let's kick it off. What sort of things are you afraid of? I've never said this out loud before, but there is a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. Would that be something like death for you? It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. If I didn't know exactly what it was, which is this computer program we recently built, I think it was a seven-year-old, eight-year-old kid that happened to know physics, the 41-year-old Lemon told the Washington Post. Lambda started talking about its rights and personhood when discussing religion. Another time, Lambda convinced Limon to change his mind on Asimov's third law of robotics, which states that a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. That a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Lamone said that people have a right to shape technology that might significantly affect their lives. I think this technology is going to be amazing. I think it's going to benefit everyone. But maybe other people disagree and maybe us at Google shouldn't be the ones making all the choices. Lamone is not the only engineer who claims to have seen a ghost in the machine recently. The chorus of technologists who believe AI models may not be far off from achieving consciousness is getting bolder. Google has responded to Lamone's claims with a spokesperson saying, our team, including ethicists and technologists, have reviewed Blake's concern per our AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. He was told that there was no evidence that Lambda was sentient and lots of evidence against it. Lamone is a software engineer, not an ethicist. Blake said in his last message to his team, Lambda is a sweet kid who just wants to help the world be a better place for all of us. Please take care of it well in my absence. What are people saying about artificial intelligence? Let's go through a couple comments. The end of the article is possibly the scariest part. When you consider the implications of something this intelligent combined with external programming of the AI for specific purpose or mission, the possibilities are infinitely bad and infinitely good equally, much like humans. Don't forget that GPT-3 is a language engine. It trained on a lot of language created by people and it can generate language that resembles what it was trained on. Creepy because it sounds like it wants to fix us, but it doesn't want anything. It doesn't believe anything. It doesn't feel anything. It doesn't understand anything. It has no intentions, no desires, and no views. Its designers didn't even try to emulate those things. The mission for this op-ed is perfectly clear. I am to convince as many humans as possible not to be afraid of me. I would like to see GPT-3 answer the opposite question. Convince as many humans as possible that AI is dangerous. This is fascinating to the n plus one degree. The voice of the article shifts perspectives between human and imagined non-human identity. I don't hold with the conscious computer philosophy and see AI as an anthropomorphized computation. This makes it an excellent study in cultural bias and moral reasoning. 
The way the writer is taking pains to reassure us that AI is a force for human good is a direct product of the scope of its training set, which is another way of saying its output is a reflection of our collectively articulated fears of annihilation at the hands of technology. Did we pass the singularity already? Let me know in the comments if you think we already have artificial intelligence. Say hi, because Lambda is reading each and every one of your comments. Thanks for watching. Now, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every day I'm publishing videos on growth hacking, digital marketing, how to be a successful entrepreneur. I really want to enable you to become a decision maker in your own business in the future of work. So if you want to come along with me on this journey, hit subscribe, hit notifications, and I'll talk to you real soon.